me again. So today I decided is the day that I'm gonna get my hair done. I think I'm gonna cut it and color it. I'm not sure yet. Um, and I kind of just wanted to show you or explain to you how right now getting a hair appointment during COVID looks like in certain places. So right now I'm just waiting in my car for my hairstylist to come and get me and then um, I'll walk in with her but I have to make sure I have my mask and I'm gonna see if I can videotape you know the process what it looks like in store what it looks like for each stylist and the spacing but for right now I'm just waiting for my stylist to come get me um, kind of nervous kind of excited uh, I don't know what I want to do with my hair yet I just know that I need something I just need something to be done so hopefully I can take you along with me if not I will show you what this mess will turn into And that's like my new recent. Oh my god, I absolutely freaking love it. So, my hair was just like straight down. It had like really bad highlights from the initial um, hairdresser that I saw, and it sucked. And it was a three hour process. So, I came in at two. It is now 6 16. Dinner is ready. Um, girls with really dark hair, I think you know my struggle of having to be in that chair for a really long time if you want to get like a really light color. But um, I'm super happy about it. Give me a second and I will explain the process. I am late for dinner. <clears throat> I am back. Um, so that was just crazy. That was really hectic. Like I said, I think in my last um, bit, it took me uh, from 2 to 6 o'clock to get my hair at this color, um, to get my hair cut. Uh, for those who have darker hair, I think you kind of understand the struggle of lightening your hair. It's not just, um, you know, a one and done. Like if you are at a one, which I am, which is really dark, it is hard for you to even get to a three in one session i definitely want to go lighter and blonder but um overall my experience was uh pr pretty you know just normal i guess you could say i remember i came in uh i mean i parked and i just waited until my stylist that i had um asked for came and got me and we walked into the back of the salon or the side of it and uh, as soon as we entered, she just put Purell on and I put Purell on and then she put a covering on the bottom of the chair that she was going to be working on with me. And then after that, everything was just back to normal. A slight difference was instead of all the chairs being in a row, somewhere, um, some chairs were placed further up to the counter, some, place, some chairs were um, further away my chair was um, further back so the people next to me were up you know closer to their own chairs which I think was like you know for the social distancing um I was asking my stylist and she said that nothing really has changed like the way they schedule is a bit different um so that they spread out their clients and they're not overwhelms with so many people they used to have a waiting room where if you came a little bit early or um, an appointment was taking longer um, and your stylist couldn't get to immediately they would have you go into this room and offer you beverage sometimes some snacks and that was not something that they were doing um, at the current moment so it was interesting it, it was a normal appointment 
other than you know all the other regulations that have been placed i did have to wear my mask the whole time uh which was kind of difficult just because you want to communicate what you want specifically and that can be kind of hard when you're muffled and there's blow drying happening and you know you're here and they're there so that was kind of a challenge um i didn't want my bangs to be kind of different like wispy but she didn't really understand what I was saying. At the end of the day, it didn't really matter. Like, I just wanted my hair to be fresh, be cut. And I don't mind this, to be honest. I think it's kind of cute. But overall, my experience wasn't that bad. It, it felt kind of normal, which was pretty nice. I know we all want something to feel a little bit normal. But um, if you guys are thinking of getting a haircut, definitely call um, your stylist or wherever you want to get your haircut and just ask them or they'll probably set the guidelines but just do it just wear your mask just get that haircut um be pleasant because i know some of these hairstylists are confused and why they're opened and some nail salons aren't opened um which i totally understand which i totally understand because hairstylists are actually closer to you and have to touch you in order to cut your hair where manicurists are kind of you know further away they have more of a protection but um, again like <laughs> that's a different story so definitely call your hairstylist and see uh what their regulations are and just be pleasant you know some of them are grateful to be back at work but it still kind of stings as we can imagine but i hope this helped i hope you guys you know are getting haircuts i hope things are starting to feel okay now that things are places are opening up again um, it does get better, it will get better. <laughs> I feel like this is a PCA for something, but um, during these times, you never really know, you know, what to expect. But I got a haircut today, I really like it, I really feel renewed. <sighs> and I'm excited to try more things and venture out and see what else um, the world has in store during this time. But as always, please stay safe, stay healthy, and take care.